let's get right into it. Number 8. The Haitian Zombie Drug In Haiti, there's a drug that can turn people into real-life zombies. Not the brain-eating kind from movies, but something way more disturbing. The most famous case is Clairvius Narcisse, who was declared dead at a hospital in 1962. His family buried him, but 18 years later, he showed up in his village, alive. When someone gets dosed with this zombie cocktail, their body functions slow down so much they appear dead, their heart barely beats, their breathing becomes almost impossible to detect. Even doctors with modern equipment can mistake them for corpses. The victim is buried alive, fully conscious but completely paralyzed. They can hear, feel, and understand everything happening around them. After they're dug up, they're fed another drug made from zombie cucumber. This second drug keeps them in a permanent brain fog. They can't form new memories or recognize family members. They just follow orders like a robot made of flesh. Scientists studied this zombie powder in the 1980s. They found it contained tetrodotoxin, the same poison found in pufferfish. In tiny doses, it can make someone appear dead while their mind stays active. And since it's made from natural ingredients that are easy to get, there's no way to stop it. Cases of zombification still pop up in Haiti today. The CDC actually has plans for this specific scenario because they know this isn't just folklore. Number 7. Mad Cow Disease Mad Cow Disease isn't your typical infection. It's caused by something called prions, proteins that went rogue in the brain. These aren't bacteria or viruses that we can fight with medicine. They're like tiny molecular zombies that turn normal proteins into more zombies. When these prions get into your brain, they start folding other proteins the wrong way. Your brain literally starts developing holes until it looks like a sponge. And once it starts, there's no way to stop it. The scariest part is that these prions are practically indestructible. You can't kill them because they're not even alive. Cooking won't destroy them. Freezing won't stop them. Even radiation won't take them down. In humans, it starts with personality changes. People become aggressive, anxious, or depressed. Then the physical symptoms kick in. Muscle spasms, loss of balance, dementia. Your body and mind slowly shut down while you're still aware of what's happening. Back in the 80s and 90s, this disease spread through cattle because farmers were feeding cows ground-up parts of other cows. The government had to kill and burn hundreds of thousands of cows to stop it. Scientists are worried because prions can jump between species. All it takes is one mutation, one slight change in these prions. Then we'd have something that spreads faster than any zombie virus in the movies. Number 6. The Mind Control Parasite there's a tiny parasite called Toxoplasma gondii that turns mice into mindless zombies. This microscopic monster has one goal, to get inside a cat's stomach. But mice naturally run away from cats, so this parasite rewires the mouse's brain. Once inside a mouse, it travels through the blood and sets up camp in the brain. It targets the fear center and shuts it down like flipping off a light switch. Not only that, it makes mice attracted to cat urine. That's like someone reprogramming you to think skunk spray is cologne. The infected mouse walks right up to cats, serving itself up for dinner. When the cat eats the mouse, the parasite can reproduce inside the cat's gut and spread through its poop to infect more mice. This parasite can infect humans too. About one-third of all people have it in their brains right now. Most of us get it from eating undercooked meat or cleaning cat litter boxes. While it doesn't make us walk up to lions, it does change our behavior. Scientists have found that infected people take more risks and have slower reaction times. They're more likely to get into car accidents. They're also more likely to start businesses. So maybe some of those successful entrepreneurs aren't brilliant. Maybe they just have a brain full of cat parasites making them take risks. And this parasite is still evolving. Who knows what it might do to human brains in the future. Number 5. Airborne Rabies Regular rabies is already one of the deadliest viruses on Earth. Once symptoms show up, you're dead. No exceptions. The virus hijacks your brain, making you aggressive, confused, and terrified of water. But scientists discovered something terrifying in bat caves. The virus was floating in the air like invisible death clouds. Their saliva, urine, and brain matter mix into a deadly cocktail floating in the air. Just one breath in these caves can infect you. Two researchers found this out the hard way. They caught rabies without ever being bitten by anything. They were just breathing in air filled with bat drool and poop particles. The rabies virus is constantly mutating. Every time it jumps from one animal to another, it has a chance to evolve. All it would take is one mutation making it better at spreading through the air. Then we'd have a virus that's both airborne and 100% lethal. It would spread through ventilation systems, through subway stations, through office buildings. The infected would become aggressive and paranoid. 
They'd foam at the mouth, spreading more virus into the air. Their fear of water would make them dehydrated and more aggressive. They'd attack anything that moves, creating more opportunities to spread. And since rabies exists in every corner of the world, in our dogs, our bats, our raccoons, it wouldn't start in one place. It would start everywhere at once. Number four, the meow meow drug. There's a drug that turns people into actual zombies, not the brain-eating kind, but something almost as terrifying. It's called meow meow, which sounds harmless but is anything but harmless. This substance hits your brain like a nuclear bomb of dopamine. Users get super strong, stop feeling pain, and completely lose touch with reality. They end up running around half-naked in the streets, fighting invisible enemies. Their heart rate shoots through the roof. Their blood pressure goes crazy. Their body temperature rises so high they start stripping off their clothes in public. Some even jump into freezers trying to cool down. Doctors in emergency rooms started calling it the zombie drug because patients acted like the walking dead. They'd come in with superhuman strength, taking multiple security guards to hold them down. Some would even try to bite hospital staff. The truly disturbing part is how cheap and accessible this drug is. Underground chemists could cook it up with basic ingredients. Every time the government banned one version, they'd tweak the formula slightly. New versions kept popping up like a chemical whack-a-mole game. All it would take is one super stimulant hitting the streets, something that spreads through the party scene like wildfire. Then we'd have thousands of sleep-deprived, aggressive people who've lost touch with reality. Unlike a virus, you can't quarantine a drug once it's out there. Number 3. The Puppet Master Worm The horsehair worm looks like a piece of black string, but it's one of nature's most disturbing puppeteers. It starts as a microscopic larva in water, waiting for an insect to take a drink. Once inside, it grows silently, feeding on the insect's insides until it's ready. The worm releases chemicals that hack the insect's brain, making it obsessed with finding water. The infected insect walks straight into pools or streams, basically committing suicide. As the insect drowns, the worm bursts out of its body. These worms can grow up to three feet long inside their tiny hosts. That's like having a rope slowly growing inside you. Right now, these worms can only control insects, but parasites are constantly evolving jumping between species. Scientists have found other parasites that already affect human behavior. All it would take is one mutation, one evolutionary leap, and instead of insects drowning themselves, we'd have people walking into the ocean. Nature's already shown us the blueprint for mind control. It's happening right now, getting more sophisticated with each generation. Number two, the zombie fungus. There's a fungus in nature that turns ants into actual zombies. When a tiny spore lands on an ant, it drills through the ant's armor like it's got a tiny power tool. Once inside, it starts growing through the ant's body, replacing the ant's tissue with fungal threads. The fungus doesn't even need to reach the brain to control its host. Instead, it wraps around the ant's muscles like a puppet master pulling strings. The infected ant leaves its colony and climbs up plants. The ant clamps down on a leaf with what scientists call the death grip, and that's where it stays. Then a fungal stalk bursts out of the ant's head like something from a horror movie. This stalk releases more spores, turning more ants into zombies. Currently, this fungus can infect humans because we're too warm for it. But scientists say fungi are evolving faster than ever. They're adapting to warmer temperatures, getting closer to our body temperature. And since it already knows how to control nervous systems, this isn't some made-up movie plot. Number 1. Ancient Ice Viruses Scientists found something terrifying in the Arctic ice. They discovered viruses that have been frozen for 48,000 years, these aren't your average viruses. They're prehistoric monsters that have been sleeping since before humans built cities. The Arctic ice works like nature's freezer. It's kept these viruses perfectly preserved, waiting for a chance to thaw out. When scientists tested these viruses in labs, they discovered something terrifying. These prehistoric viruses still work perfectly. They can still infect cells just like they did 48,000 years ago. Companies are drilling deeper into the Arctic for oil and minerals, Every drill site is like playing Russian roulette with prehistoric diseases. We have no immunity to these ancient viruses. Our bodies have never seen anything like them before. Scientists have already found traces of smallpox and other deadly viruses in the ice. All it takes is one prehistoric virus to start spreading. The ice is melting and we can't stop it. These viruses are going to wake up whether we're ready or not. And when they do, we might be facing something our immune systems have no defense against. That's all for today. I'll be making similar videos in the future. Subscribe to see them.